I think small groups are a part of my growing too. Like they push you to be a better person. They push you to know a little bit more about the word gap. Um, it's so good when you have something systematic, like you, someone comes with something that you weren't expecting, like books that usually you don't read in your own time. It's helpful. It's good stuff because we don't just focus in ourselves. We are trying to see what other people think about that and what Gap has done in other people's life. We say before that prayer is really important. Your own personal prayer with the Gap with Gab is awesome. It's something that you should have. But pray with, praying with other people, it opens yourself in so many ways because you can talk with a person and you don't know their needs. Usually we don't focus on other people's needs until we heard that they have needs. So it gives us that extra capacity to know and to see other people around us. One of the other good things about being in a small group the Bible story is awesome. I love it. But friendships that come through that, they are one of the most important things in life. For example, every Monday night, we play volleyball. And it's such a good way to create relationships. It's a great way to know other people in their personal life, not just in church. So don't be hesitant. Doesn't matter how weird you are, because I am and they still accept me, so go for it and I wish you the best. For sure God will do great things when you are in the small group.